for the checking the cuff pressure, you set up your suction just as we set up in all the other ones. You put it all the way up here. You want to attach a flow meter so you can connect it to your bagger. You make sure that your suction is all the way over here attached to your yonker because you're going to need that for this one. Okay, and then your, your oxygen is attached to your bagger over there. Okay, so now for this one, you're going to have to introduce yourself to the patient. You're going to talk about the procedure, and then you're going to give them deep suctioning. But just talk about deep suctioning. Don't actually do it. Tell them you're going to give them deep suctioning to get the secretions above your cuff. And then you're going to talk about like suctioning the mouth and the back of the mouth and the tongue area. You're going to just talk about that. Don't do it before you start your procedure. Okay, so now you put the stethoscope on like Simran's put on. She put the stethoscope on. Okay, and now she's going to set the pressure in the in this line between the pressure and the manometer. So you're going to set pressure in this line so that when you hook it up to the patient, they don't lose any pressure. Okay, so you want to set it up to 20. We'll come over here. Okay, look at what your stop clock is pointing at. Yeah. Like, no, take the... Um, no, 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 follow the hard path. Okay. It's fine. Just keep. Just put it at twenty. Okay. So your stop clock has yeah, to be set like this. Being weird right now. Oh, there you go. Okay. You have to set your stop clock like that because you want it to go from here. You want it to go into the line all the way here because this is the line you're going to be connecting to the patient. So you have to make sure that one is pointing to the syringe and one is pointing that way. Okay. Now she's going to start adding pressure into twenty. Okay, you're at 20, so that's good. So now we have to safely put this in before we put it into the patient. Okay, so now she's shut off all the lines so that we're not going to lose pressure. Now we're going to attach it to the patient. You're going to plug into the patient. Yeah, that's good. And then when that happens, we might see a drop in here, but no, because we just said that before. Okay, now she's going to open all three lines to the patient. Yeah, you point all three to each tube, so that means that every single line is open. Okay, so now you're going to have to take your stethoscope and you're going to put it on there. And at this time, someone's going to be begging and then they're going to tell you like loud noise, not loud noise. So you're going to start pulling the pressure out. Okay, so it's going to be like no noise, no noise, it's gonna be like no noise, loud noise, loud noise. And then at that point, you're going to start putting pressure back in and you're going to make it go up. And then I'm going to be like noise, noise, it's going to be like noise, 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 noise. So like no noise, so that means that's your minimum including pressure. Now you're gonna shut off all your ports, just close them. Yep, that's good. And then on disconnect from your patient. That's it. You're done. You've just checked their pressure. Okay, that one's done.